All right, so welcome to The Skill Builder Does the Library Own This Newspaper, Magazine, or Journal. And today we're gonna to be looking into ways that you can figure out if we have the publication that you want. So you have to be coming to this with the idea that I want this publication, um, where this is not topic-based research. So, um, question for you. Does the library own these publications? Yeah. And Yes, you are correct. We own all of them. Aren't they great? So um, here's the Washington Post. Here is um, Harvard Business Review. Here is The Economist. And that one is actually in PDF form. So you actually get the graphs on that one, which is not true for the Wall Street Journal, though I got to double check that. Um, we have the Atlanta Journal. This is a new thing that we have. We have um, a database called Access World News. And if you're looking for local newspapers in the United States, they have a lot of them that have image-based text. Um, rather than just the text, it'll give you the image. So this is today's Atlanta Journal from here in um, Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> and uh, we also have Health Affairs. So I was thinking maybe some public health people might be on here and that's an important uh, publication to have access to. Science, you can see that they differ in terms of their uh, prettiness. Some of them are just really text-based, but some of them that we have access to, like science, um, have nice graphics. We also have consumer reports. I need to help my mom uh, assess some hearing aids, and I will be going into this shortly to determine what hearing aids she should get next. So you have that for free. Everybody on campus should be logging in to uh, Chronicle of Higher Education. Once you get to this page, you'll just sign in and create your own account, and you should be able to get all the items that are available uh, through a regular subscription. We won't have access to some of the reports that are in the store, but we do have this trends report because that's a special issue. So yeah, there's lots of really great materials here. We also have Nature, which is another important science publication. What we don't have though um, is very few things, but some of the things that we don't have is like the Atlanta Business Chronicle. That's one we get asked for a lot and we wish we could offer it, but there are just some things that are not set up to be delivered through the kind of model that we can uh, deliver to our patrons. We used to have this and we had to um, hold tightly onto our own little password, username and password. And if you wanted an article, then you would contact me and I would let you, I would, I would look for it. And then I would give you a copy of that. So we were doing basically our own interlibrary loan, but that was a little cumbersome. So um, that's one of them that we don't have. So you can see that we own a lot of great materials, but how do you find out if McCain Library owns the publication that you need? Well, um, the best place to go is the Find Journals tab on the library website. So right here in the middle of the page where you normally see Discover, you'll see Find Journals. And that's where you enter the name of the publication that you want. So since many of our students are looking for Wall Street Journal, they need to keep up every single day with the Wall Street Journal, then um, they can type in Wall Street Journal here. Uh, and then once they click enter, it's gonna give them a list of publication names that have those words in the title. So here, it's a little confusing at first. It's something that you just have to get used to after you play with this a little bit, because it's not, it's not clear which one is the Wall Street Journal that we want. But what I normally do is I just click on this little plus sign here, and that opens up the full text access menu, which tells us the individual databases that have the full text. And the best indicator is to see the date range. So here it's saying Wall Street Journal, 1984 to the present. That looks like it's probably gonna be my best bet. Um, some of these down here, ProQuest Central, 2009 to 2017. And it's also Journal of the Americas. Maybe I do need um, one that is more Latin American focused. Um, I'd have to research that title to know more about what that publication is, but it clearly doesn't fit my date range if what I want is today's paper. And then Wall Street Journal Online, most likely that's going to be just some of their online content, um, it, but might not be all of it. So all the publications will differ in terms of what kind of content they provide access to, but the starting point is to use the Find Journal tool type in the name of the publication, and then use this menu, um, clicking on the full text access to see what kind of content is available to you. So we'll come back with questions about that, but I wanna 
transition now to understanding where you go from there. So once you click on one of those database names, the, if we were gonna click on Wall Street Journal or ABI Inform or ProQuest Central, where does it take you? So we call that the publication page. And this is what one looks like in ProQuest for Wall Street Journal. So you can see on here that this is saying that it's from 1984 to the present. It's telling us the coverage that it's available. It's giving us a little box in which we can search for the title or topic of something that we're interested in. And then it has an ability to browse through specific issues. And actually, um, we have, they seem like they've updated these. You'll see in some of the previous screenshots that I had that now it just gives you a box at the top that you can search by topic, but then it automatically shows you today's latest issue down here, which is great because you used to have to go up here and click on uh, latest available issue. And that was a little bit cumbersome as well. But in ProQuest, this is what their publication page looks like. And it would be great if all of them were exactly the same so that um, you would have the same experience no matter what publication you're looking for. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So EBSCOhost, which is another database provider that we have, ProQuest and EBSCOhost are pretty much our top providers for databases. We have um, dozens and dozens and dozens of databases and publications, hundreds and hundreds of publications from them, from each company. And so you are going to run across these two publication pages often. EBSCOhost is a little bit more tricky to search within the publication. You have to look for the little uh, link and it will link you to a page that initiates a search for items in that journal. Um, or you can click on the issue and then drill down to the month that you need. So those are some options that you have with that. And if you have any problems with that one, then just give us a call and we'll uh, walk you through some search techniques once you get in there. It's very easy once you figure out a couple of the little nuances. Now, um, if you did come here because you wanted to just be able to search for news sources and you don't want to go to just one particular publication, well, I recommend that you search through one of these databases. So remember, I told you we just got Access World News Research Collection. You can get to this from our databases A to Z list on the library homepage, which is uh, located underneath the Discover tab um, and underneath the little search box that's in the Discover tab or on the left-hand menu on the library website, you'll see databases A to Z. So you click on A and there you'd be able to access this to get access to local news, um, uh, world news, and uh, the image of today's Atlanta Journal and Constitution. Now, if you really wanna hit the heavy hitters um, in an easy to navigate place, ProQuest is one of my favorite sources for news. And the interface is something that I feel really comfortable with. Um, you can narrow down, you can type in a topic and then narrow down on the left hand side menu to date um, publication title so you can see where your terms are appearing in what publications and just narrow it down to those. And you can see here that they include the Atlanta Journal and Constitution, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, Washington Post, Guardian, etc. There are hundreds and hundreds of these and so you're bound to find something that was published between the 1990s to the present that's probably gonna be useful to you. And then finally, if you just are looking for that pleasure reading, you wanna be reading consumer reports, you have um, a fashion magazine that you're interested in um, and you're just interested in the articles. Scientific American is one of my favorites. Um, or if you're looking for art, political commentary magazines like um, Nation, um, at the Atlantic, Harper's Bazaar, uh, Bazaar, all of these are available in Master File Elite. And so you could just search in Master File Elite for your topic and then narrow down to magazines. And you're gonna be, again, able to narrow down to the specific publications um, within that database. So those are my recommendations. And the very final thing that I would say to you in terms of using these tools is that you can really build a list of articles to read later. So one of the things I do, once I go to the journal page, let's say the Wall Street Journal, I bookmark that and I bookmark it on my phone. And so then every single time that I want to read the Wall Street Journal, I just click on the little um, icon that I created on my phone and it takes me to the web page for that journal page. 
and it will prompt me to log in, but then I can see today's news from there. So that's one thing I like, but I'm not really excited about reading on my phone. So what I like to do is while I'm there, I like to use these little check marks and mark them. And then I um, say, I uh, email them to myself and I also have email on my phone. So um, then when I'm sitting in the doctor's office or just someplace where I'm transitioning, I can pull up that list of articles that I emailed to myself and just read them on my phone. So it's really a great way for um, saving things. And within ProQuest and all of our databases, you also have the option to save within the database itself. So you can set up an account. So there's many ways to do this, but I just wanted you to know about that feature. So that's all I had to share today about how you can find magazines and newspapers through McCain Library. And if you have additional questions, you can just email us at library at agnescott.edu.